Theatrical Emporium has been servicing your panto costume needs since 2001. With over 800 unique panto dame costumes in our hire collection and thousands of principal and chorus options, we'll always be behind you to support you through any production. We also offer a full design and manufacture service for clients wishing to purchase costumes. See what's in store by visiting our website www.hollylimpets.com Welcome to the 2020 Great British Pantomime Awards. Hi, Ben Nicholas here to announce the winner of the Best Pantomime Dame for 2020. Um, this is sponsored by Molly Limpet's Theatrical Emporium. And uh, such a great night last year at the Pantomime Awards. I was very fortunate and delighted to win Best Pantomime Comic. And people said, Ben, where do you keep your award? Well, I'll tell you. I keep it at all on a shelf with all the other awards I have managed to win during my wonderful career. So, the nominations are... Best Dame Brad Fit Evolution for Aladdin at Shrewsbury Elaine C. Smith Kudos for Jack and the Beanstalk and Glasgow James Peake Little Wolf for Jack and the Beanstalk at Loughborough Kevin Johns Kudos for Peter Pan at Swansea Michael J. Batchelor, Evolution for Dick Whittington at Horth Crawley. And the winner of Best Dame for 2020 at the Pantomime Awards is James Peake for Jack and the Beanstalk, Loughborough Town Hall. Congratulations, James. Have a great night wherever you are, at home probably. And uh, hopefully we'll all get together next year for a good catch-up. Take care, stay safe. Hello, Panto people. How are you doing? What a shame we can't all be together tonight. But what a brilliant idea to celebrate this online. And we can all look forward to next year. So I'm making the most of it. I'm having a little drinky. Cheers, everyone. Oh, yeah, this is a quarantini. It's just a regular martini, but you just drink it on your own in your house. Anyway... My name is Simon Fielding and I'm from the Tangate Theatre in Basildon and we're really excited tonight because we have been nominated in one category for Best Ensemble. Yay! Um, I realised that actually might have been announced already and um, we might not have won, in which case you're all looking at me like, um, oh, bless. But anyway, I'm here to um, present the award tonight for Best Costume. I'm really excited about this award because I think that Panto is a genre where actually costume designers really can still go for broke no holes barred and they can just show off and be as outrageous as they want so let's get on with it and the nominations are best costumes amanda hambleton in-house for beauty and the beast at the oxford playhouse scott mckenzie in-house robin hood at the camberley theater fox and shriek in-house Snow White and the Seven Dwarves at Customs House. Lottie Colette, in-house, Dick Whittington at the Hackney Empire. Teresa Knowlton, Hugh Durant, Mike Coltman and James Andrew McIver. Kudos for Goldilocks and the Three Bears at the London Palladium. Now they've sent me the winner via Amazon, so I'm not taking any chances. Um, I'm obviously gonna put my gloves on. Um, the parcel has actually been quarantining in my shed for the last seven days. So uh, let's see who the lucky winner is. Here we go. Hang on. A little bit stuck in my glove there. Here we go. Right. Brilliant. Very exciting. Coming by Amazon.
Right, here we have it. So the winner, if I can get in, the winner is... Wow! Okay, it's Teresa Knowlton, Hugh Durant, Mike Coltman and James Andrew McIver for Goldilocks and the Three Bears at the London Palladium. Amazing guys, well done. I really don't know how you did it on that shoestring of a budget. No, seriously guys, it was absolutely well deserved. Your costumes were amazing. So looking forward to seeing everyone next year. And um, from me, cheers. Panto Awards, Vicky Stone here. Welcome to my kitchen. And I am here to present the award for Best Ugly Sisters, sponsored by Molly Limpet. And the nominations are... Best Ugly Sisters Anthony Stewart Hicks and Dale Superville In-house for Cinderella at Colchester Mercury Damian Williams and Matt Danes Evolution for Cinderella at Sheffield John and James Highton Polkadot for Cinderella at Grantham Miss Rory and Duncan Bird UK Productions for Cinderella at Sunderland Paul Winterford and Aaron Spenderlow, PHA, for Cinderella at Bridlington. And the winners are... Anthony Stewart Hicks and Dale Superville from Mercury at Abbey Field, Colchester. Yay! <laughs> Bert's really excited, aren't you Bert? Yay! Well done fellas. Dead excited about Panto this year. Can't wait for it all to kick off. Bye. Hello everybody watching and this is a bit unusual isn't it? Last year Wimbledon Theatre and this year my house, your houses. So I'm Hilary O'Neill, uh, Hills to my friends and Nana Panto for so many of you who've worked with me in Panto because I've done a few, um, about 40 probably. And I've loved every single minute, uh, even the three show Saturdays, come on, because it's the best time of the year. It's the camaraderie, finding friends for life and a whole bunch of talent. And it's just fabulous. And it's great that uh, the awards have come about, thanks to Daniel and Sam, because uh, people do need to be rewarded. It's a real art form, theatre of theatre pantomime. And I, I do believe in it so dearly. And it's given me the best times of my career. I played all sorts of roles. I was principal boy for years, uh, then principal girl, and also baddie, which I absolutely loved. Bringing the comedy connected with the baddie is my favorite uh, role to date. And uh, yeah, it's really good fun. And it brings me enormous pleasure to be able to present the best female villain tonight. So yeah, my panto career goes back to, gosh, the producer then was Bunny Barron. I know, right? I don't look old enough. Oh, yes, I do. And uh, and of course, uh, some of the producers will be watching this now that I've worked for for years. Guys, thank you for the best times and the best memories. And I hope it continues. So without further ado, the nominations for Best Female Baddie are... Best Villain Female. Karen Hawthorne, in-house, for Snow White and the Seven Dwarves at the Millennium Forum. Leslie Joseph, Kudos, for Snow White at the Birmingham Hippodrome. Melanie Stevens, in-house, for Cinderella at Hereford. Myra Dubois, PHA, for Sleeping Beauty at Leeds Carriage Works. Rita Simons, Evolution, for Sleeping Beauty at the Auburn Arena. It's exciting. The nominations are out. I've got the bling on. I'm all ready. Look, she's put a bit of Zavrosky on for you tonight. And the drum roll's there. Oh, that's not very good. That wobbles the camera. But anyway, um, I could bring on somebody to present this now. I could bring on a little bit of Joe Pesquale. Yeah, hey, uh, Joe could come and present the prize for best villain. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Because you love a bit of Joe. Oh, yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're all gagging for me now, aren't you? Oh, yeah, you want me now. Oh. Uh, but I've found a unique way of presenting my award tonight, boys. You'll be ever so thrilled. Look, she's only gotten and got herself a little courage. And the... Great British Pantomime Award for Best Female Villain goes to Myra Dubois 
for Courage Works Leeds. Congratulations, Myra. Um, I know you'll be thrilled. You'll be punching the air wherever you are and biting on a Greg sausage roll and celebrating with us all. So congratulations to you, the cast at the Carriage Works Leeds, and to all the nominees tonight. Um, I just hope you enjoy what's to come. Thanks for letting me be part of it. And congratulations to everybody. Hi everyone, it's Kev Orkin here. Just want to say a massive thank you to the Great British Pantomime Awards for asking me to present this year's Best Villain. Now, before we carry on, I just want to say uh, to all my pantomime brothers and sisters out there, you're doing an incredible job and keeping the traditions very much alive. This is really important to me, which is why me and my team here at Howlin have set up the very first British Pantomime Academy. This is an academy that basically nurtures upcoming talent for our industry. And I'm saying this because I want your help. If you're out there and you've got time and you want to pass on some of your expertise, please get in touch. I would love, love, love to hear from you. Now, on to uh, the nominations, and they are... Best Villain, Male. Anthony Costa, Imagine, for Aladdin at Leicester. Jack Everson, in-house for Robin Hood at Camberley. Mark Cox, imagine, for Jack and the Beanstalk at Greenock. Mark Pickering, evolution, for Mother Goose at Marlow Canterbury. Richard David Kane, evolution, for Peter Pan at Grove Dunstable. Okay, so now, we are going to present the nominations with my friend, Paddington. That's right. Yes, this is Paddington Bear. And, uh, oh, hold on, I think he wants to say something. That's right. I am better than Max Fulham. <laughs> anyway, now, the, uh, the best villain is sponsored by Breckman and Company. And the winner is... Drum roll. Uh, and the winner is Richard David Kane. That's right. Richard, you are the winner of Best Villain. Congratulations. Uh, it must be an amazing feeling uh, to have won. I was nominated last year for Best Comic and, uh, and I didn't win. And Ben did. And uh, I've decided not to promote any more pantomime merchandising or anything like that in the future. Anyway, in the meantime, guys, you take care of yourselves. And uh, hopefully... We'll see each other very, very soon uh, on the other side for another Christmas Great British Pantomime Award. Oh, smells lovely. Take care, stay safe. Hello everybody at the Great British Pantomime Awards. It's me, Sam Raybone, and tonight I am presenting the award for Best Lighting. Now, some of you may know me best as a pantomime day, but this year I did play Buttons, and it was a bit of a shock for all involved, including me, as I spent the past 12 years playing a pantomime day. However, it was quite a nice change. Uh, so tonight I'm presenting the award for Best Lighting, and the reason, the reason I've been asked to do this is because I love Panto, probably a bit like a lot of you out there do as well, and there's a few reasons I love Panto. The main one being is that it's pretty much the only time of year I've got a full-time job. So, I mean, that's my top reason for loving Panto. But really, no, what better way is there to have fun, to bring the whole family together and to hear a room full of laughter while falling over, getting custard pies in your face and walking around with giant pair of boobs on? I mean, it's pretty much the best job out there for them. Uh, it's weird times at the moment, though, isn't it, eh? Because uh, we're all having to do jobs we never thought we'd do. I'm now DJing from my dining room every Friday night to Facebook. That's how weird it's got for me. I'm not professionally DJed, you know, over 10 years, but hey-ho, needs must. So, the nominees for Best Lighting are... Best Lighting. Barry Smith, Qdos, Sleeping Beauty at Stoke Regent. Chris Barrett, Qdos, Sleeping Beauty, Swansea Grand Theatre. Jason Addison, Jordan, Beauty and the Beast, Gordon Craig Theatre, Stevenage. Jason Salvin, in-house, Little Red Riding Hood at City Varieties. Matt Clutterham, Qdos, Dick Whittington at the Bristol Hippodrome. I've got the winner in here. I'll just open it up and find out who's won tonight.
<sighs> the winner is Chris Barrett, Swansea Grand for Kudos. Well, that was very exciting. So tune in tomorrow. Located in the heart of the city, right next door to the Holiday Inn, the Birmingham Conference and Events Centre is a new purpose-built function centre. Comprising of stylish, modern and practical spaces, high-tech facilities and a dedicated team of support staff to ensure that any event hosted with us is the best it can be. Find out more by visiting thebcec.co.uk